This segment is sponsored by the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan. According to ARP, the AARP, three out of four adults over the age of 50 want to age in place. But what does that mean? And is this a good thing for folks as they age? Stephanie Hexel is Access Manager with the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan. And she joins us now to talk about serving seniors where they are. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, good morning. It's good to see you. What does that term aging in place mean? That's a great question. I think we hear that term and go, what does that mean for the individual? What does that mean for the community? How is that important to our senior population? So aging in place is really the ability to maintain your independent living in the setting you choose to be, which for many seniors is their own homes. That's the place that they have spent their lives achieving and being comfortable. There's that sense of freedom and privacy there. Um, it's just, it's our homes are our comfort space. That's where we want to be. And as people age and their care needs may change over time, there's still that drive to live independently. I think in addition to that, being able to live at home independently, as well as being active and able to engage with your community, your neighborhood, your friends and your support system that you know, all of that ties in together with that whole concept of aging in place. Mm. So not having to have to move somewhere else just because of changes in care needs, but maybe being able to bring in resources to help your situation, but stay where you want to be. I know that that requires developing what you call an aging plan. What does, what are the steps in developing an aging plan? You know, it's, it's tricky. It's complicated. I will say, because no two stories are like everybody has their own unique situation We have different support systems, we have different needs, we have different income levels. There's a whole variety of resources out there, especially in Kent County. We're really fortunate to have the amount of resources for seniors that we do. So given that, how do you know what's right for you? I always tell people whenever they start to even question, and even before that, before there's care needs in the picture, it's really important to start thinking proactively and start reaching out to local resources, such as the Area Agency on Aging, which is the source for seniors. Mm -hmm. Um, It's important to have conversations with family members and friends to be able to say, this is what I want, this is my goal, this is what I'm looking for short-term, this is what I'm thinking of long-term, but then also becoming familiar with what's available in the community. So should you ever need to utilize these resources, they're available and you're familiar with what they are. Yeah, give me some examples of some in-home services that are available in our community that that might be uh, pertinent to this conversation. Absolutely. So I know I mentioned, you know, people may have changing care needs. And what I mean by that, sometimes it's just a little bit of housekeeping. Somebody is maybe using a walker and it's difficult to hang on to that and vacuum safely, of course. Um, Sometimes we see people needing help with housekeeping, but now they start needing some more hands-on help with personal care. And we see people living at home that really require assistance on a daily basis. It's not just a little bit here and there. They really need somebody to come in daily to assist them with their needs. There are a couple of different programs that we actually offer at Area Agency that help to meet those different levels of needs. Um, Those are called care management as well as the My Choice Medicaid waiver program. Mm -hmm. Um, In order for people to figure out, you know, do I qualify for this or what exactly do I need? Again, we just encourage people call us, call our main number, and then we will actually go through a series of pre-screening questions on the phone that will help guide um, the direction of which program might be most applicable, as well as if there's other resources available that somebody could use at the same time. I know that you also help to meet the needs of older adults who may be living in long-term care facilities Mm -hmm. and also help for the caregiver because the caregiver has a big job at hand as well. Uh, And so supports from you and from other organizations in the community, so very helpful. And we want to let folks know, if you want more information, visit the Area Agency on Aging website. There is a link at 13onyourside.com. Stephanie, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate being here.